Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video is going to be focused on the detoxification of ammonium ions. In the previous video we looked at the sources of ammonium ions and their toxic effect. So the body must respond to the high amount of ammonium ions in a variety of different ways and it it can occur in the tissues and in the muscles so that's what we're going to look at in today's video and then the fo the video following on from this will look at the urea cycle which is specifically how ammonium ions are removed from the body so the ammonium ions must be detoxified as an excess amount can cause physiological problems ammonium ions can be detoxified in peripheral tissues and in muscles so in the tissues the tissues have to dispose of ammonium ions in a non-toxic way and transport it to the liver and um, beginning with an alpha ketoglutarate two molecules of ammonium ions can be added and thus transported to the liver as glutamine so we have the alpha ketoglutarate here and then using the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase and nh4 plus is added on to form glutamate and then following on from this the glutamate can be converted into glutamate mean using the enzyme glutamate synthetase which requires um, energy in the form of ATP so ATP is converted into ADP and an ino inorganic phosphate while an NH4 plus is added onto glutamate to form glutamine so this is what occurs in the peripheral tissues in the muscles um, they use glutamine and alanine to transport an excess amount of nitrogen so alanine is produced from pyruvate which is readily available in the tissues from metabolizing glucose or glycogen so pyruvate is converted into alanine via alanine transaminase once in the liver alanine transfers its nitrogen to alpha ketoglutarate producing glutamate glutamate can be dehydrogenated releasing nitrogen as ammonia so glutamine is converted into glutamate via the enzyme glutaminase and NH4 plus is removed glutamate then is converted into alpha ketoglutarate so an NH4 plus is removed again and this is catalyzed by the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase so this is what happens in the liver and we can see here this is just um, a diagram of the exchange itself so glucose in the muscles converted into pyruvate pyruvate is converted into alanine via ALT which is alanine transaminase and then it's transported to the liver where alanine is converted back into pyruvate and then following on from this pyruvate can be converted back into glucose but the important thing is the conversion of glutamate into alpha ketoglutarate remember the the NH4 plus is going to be added on at uh, this stage here and removed at this stage here so following on from this the next video will be looking at the urea cycle in a bit more depth and it shows what specifically happens to the NH4 plus and how the body uh, forms urea and how it removes urea that's everything we're going to discuss today thanks very much for watching